click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Wow! My lady cooking! She making 11 prathas, all delicious prathas. They are very easy to make and they are super tasty, super delicious. You will find all 11 prathas, how to make it in easy way, right here, my lady cooking. Without wasting any time, let's go to my kitchen. Without wasting any time, let's get started. 11 prontas we are going to start with first ajwain which is a carom seed or caraway seed we are going to use pinch black pepper and pinch salt the second will be carrots the third will be corn the fourth one will be sweet peas mutter prontha the fifth one is a garbanzo beans a kabli shole and I'm using, I'm using these garbanzo beans. What I have done, I mash these, I make a smooth paste. Number six on the list, a kidney beans. And I'm using these kidney beans. And the seventh will be a cauliflower, gobi prantha. I'm using the grater to grate cauliflower. Number eight is alu prantha, the potato. Number nine will be onion prantha. I'm going to use red onion. And number 10 prantha will be a vesan prantha. I'm using one cup of vesan, one cup regular wheat flour, three quarter cup water, and I made a nice smooth dough. So the dough going to look like this. And lastly will be number 11, mine favorite and every kid's favorite prantha, sweet prantha, sugar. These ingredients will be a common ingredients, white onion, ginger, green chili, cilantro, dhania, scallion, green onion, pudina, dry mint, fenugreek leaves, kasuri methi, and the spices from our spice rack. For all these prantha, the most important ingredient will be our dough. For our prantha, we're going to use olive oil. And let's get started. First of all, we're going to get a griddle and we're going to start our gas. And we're going to keep the gas on medium. So the first pranta will be our ajwain. We have our dry flour. That is a wheat flour. And that is our dough. And now we're going to, we're going to put it into our dry flour. And now we're going to roll it with the rolling pin. So once it's nicely flattened, we're going to use small amount of uh, olive oil. So that's uh, the ajwain, the carom seed, the caraway seed. We're going to just sprinkle all over. And same thing with the salt, like a pinch. And that you always can adjust according to your taste. And black pepper. And now we're going to fold the pronta. So we're going to just uh, dust off again with the dry flour and we going to roll out. It's nicely rolled out and now we're going to pick up the pronta. We're going to place on griddle. As you can see it start changing the color. We're going to turn it over and use a spatula so it won't burn your hand. As we uh, turn it around we're going to start adding the oil on it. You can use a butter, you can use any vegetable oil, but I'm using olive oil. Now we're going to turn them over as a, you can see it's a nicely getting done. And we're going to use olive oil again on this side. Very small amount, just uh, you know, as you can see it's a nice and fluffy. That is the whole reason uh, we add a little amount of uh, oil inside the pronta when we roll out. That way it also cooks uh, well inside and also it gives you a uh, multi-layer. Our pranta is all ready and we are going to bring it on the plate. And that is our ajwain pranta. We are going to get a mixing bowl and we are going to bring the carrot. Small amount of onion, small amount of ginger, green chili, small amount of cilantro. 
small amount of scallion, kusuri methi, pudina, dry mint, pinch salt, coriander powder, pinch, cumin powder, pinch, garam masala, pinch. Now we are going to mix everything. So our carrot stuffing is ready. Put your finger inside the dry flour, get a good amount of dough and start rolling out dough. So now we're going to roll out the dough ball. Once it's nicely rolled out, we're going to use a small amount of olive oil. We'll bring all the stuffing, the carrot stuffing. And we're going to fold it from all the ends, just like that. So we're going to apply some dry flour and now we're going to press it. The whole reason we have to do if there is a, all the air that can escape through. Now we're going to get our rolling pin and we're going to roll out. So once it's nicely rolled out, we're going to bring it on our girdle. So as it start to change the color, we're going to turn it over. And now we're going to apply some olive oil. Now we're going to turn it over again. This is the timing you need, uh, you know, the perfect timing. Apply olive oil on this side. This is really important that you keep your gas on a medium because you don't want to cook it on a high gas. Now we're going to turn it over again. You cook on a slow gas. We're going to pressing and keep rotating. The slow cooking brings the taste. So on high gas, you can cook it faster, but it will burn and it will be uncooked from inside. So this way it will be fully cooked from inside and outside. So we're going to turn it over. My lady cooking, she's so happy that she's doing such a good job. She's trying to teach easy steps. How to make prantas. Another tip she's sharing with me is that to tell the viewers when you press it, you press it with a soft hand. Don't press it too hard. Very delicately you press it. And we all done. This pronta is all ready. Look at our delicious carrot pronta. Now we're going to start with the peas. The peas are boiled. And we're going to add a small amount of onion, ginger, green chili, cilantro, dhania, green onion, scallion, Kusuri methi, mint, pinch, salt, cumin powder, pinch, coriander powder, dhania, garam masala. Everything will be like a pinch and now we're going to mix it well. You can mash the peas but this is good. Now we're going to transport it into our bowl. So this is our peas stuffing. Now we're going to start with the peas, the mutter prantha. We're going to get a good amount of dough and we're going to make a dough ball. Now we're going to roll out. Once it's nicely rolled out, small amount of olive oil, we're going to bring the peas, our sweet peas stuffing. And we're going to pull from all the corners, all the sides, and we're going to make sure that it's nicely tucked in and we're going to apply some dry flour and now we're going to press it with the hand very important step you press it and now we're going to use a rolling pin and now we're going to roll out nicely once it's nicely rolled out we're going to bring it on over griddle and we are cooking on medium gas so as it start to change the color we're going to turn it over and we're going to apply some olive oil And now we're going to turn it over again and we're going to apply olive oil. Look at the peas. Let me close in. Wow, looking so good. And we're going to flip it over again. Wow, it's a nice color. It's already looking delicious. Keep pressing with the soft hand and keep turning slowly, slowly. So our pronta is ready. We're going to get the serving plate. And that is our delicious mutter pronta, sweet peas. Now we're going to have garbanzos, kabli shole. 
we're going to bring it into our mixing bowl. Small amount of onion, ginger, green chili, cilantro, dhania, scallion, kusuri methi, mint, pudina, pinch, salt, cumin powder, coriander powder, garam masala. We're going to mix it. So this is our stuffing for garbanjo beans, kabli chole. So now we're going to start with our kabli chole. We're going to get a good amount of uh, dough. So now we're going to roll out the dough ball. Once it's nicely rolled out. This is really important to put olive oil inside. Please try it. Now we're going to bring all the stuffing. That is our garbanjo stuffing. The olive oil helps the stuffing to cook better and also it gives us nice layers and now we're going to pull from all the sides and we're going to make sure that it's all sealed and we're going to dust off with the dry flour and now we're going to press it nicely with the hands this is the really important part now we're going to roll out look at how beautiful it's uh, coming along so once it's nicely rolled out we're going to bring it on our griddle so as it start to change color, we're going to flip it over. Wow, looking nice and we're going to bring olive oil. And this is all timing you need. Now you can flip it over again. Put olive oil right away. And this is the timing you need. Now we're going to turn it over again. Look at this, all beautiful nicely. And now we're going to keep rotating slowly. And now pressing lightly on the edges pranta becomes crispy and crunchy our pranta is ready delicious garbanjo pranta now we're going to start with the corn we're going to bring into the mixing bowl what i've done i put the corn into microwave and i boiled it small amount of onion ginger green chili cilantro dhania scallion green onion kusuri methi fenugreek leaves, mint, pudina, like a pinch, salt, cumin powder, coriander powder, garam masala. It's nicely incorporated. So that will be our corn stuffing. Now we're going to start the corn pranta. We're going to get a good amount of uh, dough and we're going to make a dough ball and we're going to dust off with the dry flour and we're going to roll out once it's nicely rolled out we're going to get some olive oil and we're going to apply it right in the middle and we're going to bring the stuffing the corn stuffing and now we're going to pull all the corners nicely sealed cover with the dry flour then press it with the hands and we're going to roll out so once it's nicely rolled out we're going to bring it on our griddle. As it start to change the color, we're going to turn it over. Apply olive oil. Turn it over again. And we're going to apply olive oil again. And we're going to turn it over again. Oh, nice, beautiful. All the pronta is ready. That's our corn pranthas. Now we're going to bring kidney beans into our mixing bowl. Onion, ginger, green chili, cilantro, dhania, green onion, scallion, kusuri methi, pudina, mint, pinch salt, pinch cumin powder, pinch coriander powder, and pinch garam masala. So this is our stuffing for kidney beans. So now we're going to make a kidney bean pranta rajma. We're going to get a good amount of dough. We're going to make a dough ball. We're going to dust off with some dry flour. And we're going to get a rolling pin and we're going to roll out. Once it's nicely rolled out, we're going to get some olive oil. Kidney bean rajma stuffing. Pull from all the sides. We're going to make sure that we sealed it nice. And we're going to press it. And now we're going to get the rolling pin and we're going to roll out. And now it's nicely rolled out, we're going to bring it on greater. 
as the color starting to change we're going to flip it over and we're going to get olive oil flip it over again look at those kidney bean color now we're going to apply some olive oil on this side and we're going to flip it over again wow looking so delicious and that is our rajma the kidney bean paratha now it will be cauliflower gobi we're going to bring it into our mixing bowl onion ginger green chili cilantro dhania scallion green onion kasuri methi pudina dry mint salt cumin powder coriander powder garam masala and everything will be like a pinch and we're going to mix it well so this is our stuffing for cauliflower which is gobi now we're going to make a cauliflower gobi paratha we're going to get a good amount of dough we're going to make a dough ball we're going to get some dry flour and we're going to roll out once it's nicely rolled out we're going to apply some olive oil and we're going to bring the stuffing gobi make sure that we tucked in nicely and we're going to apply some dry flour and we're going to press it with the hands and now we're going to roll out once it's nicely rolled out we're going to bring it on our griddle as it start to changing color we're going to flip it over and now we're going to add some olive oil and now we're going to turn it over again and we're going to apply olive oil on this side we're going to turn it over again wow look at this so nice color so keep pressing with the soft hands and we're going to keep rotating as well this is our cauliflower gobi paratha so now we're going to bring potato we're going to get a fork and we're going to mash it really well you can use a masher or you know whatever you prefer you can mash it with the hand onion ginger green chili cilantro dhania scallion green onion kasuri methi mint pudina like a pinch salt cumin powder coriander powder garam masala so that's our stuffing for potato now we're going to make aloo paratha we're going to get a good amount of dough and we're going to roll out the dough ball we're going to add some olive oil the aloo stuffing and we're going to pull from all sides and to make sure that it's nicely covered and we're going to tuck it in once it's nicely flattened we're going to apply some more dry flour and we're going to get the rolling pin and we're going to roll out so once it's nicely rolled out we're going to move it on griddle as the color started to change we're going to flip it over and we're going to get some olive oil turn it over again and now we're going to turn it over again and we're going to press it slowly with the soft hands and we're going to turn it slowly it's all done our favorite alu paratha now we're going to bring our red onion paratha into our mixing bowl ginger green chili cilantro dhania scallion green onion kasuri methi pudina dry mint it will be like a pinch salt cumin powder coriander powder garam masala so this is our onion stuffing so now we're going to start onion paratha so we're going to get a good size of dough ball we're going to get some dry flour so we're going to roll out nicely we're going to add some olive oil and now we're going to bring the onion stuffing so we're going to fold it nicely 
and now we're going to get the rolling pin and we're going to roll out so once it's nicely rolled out now we're going to bring it on griddle so as it start to change the color use the spatula and flip it over now we're going to use olive oil now that's the time we need it and we're going to turn it over and we're going to apply olive oil on this side and now we're going to turn it over again wow look at that so it's all ready and that is our onion pranta it's going to be our vesan pranta so we're going to get a good amount of dough dust off with the dry flour and we're going to roll out so once it's nicely rolled out we're going to get some olive oil and now we're going to fold it on all four sides so once it's nicely rolled out we're going to put it on griddle so once the color going to change we're going to turn it over and we're going to apply some olive oil and we're going to apply olive oil and we're going to turn it over again and we're going to do the same thing press it on the sides and turn it over and that is our vesan pranta and this is our favorite the kids favorite pranta the sweet pranta we're going to dust off our dough ball and we're going to roll out once it's nicely rolled out we're going to get some olive oil so we are using one tablespoon and now we're going to cover roll out on all four edges nicely pressed in once it's nicely rolled out we're going to bring it on griddle as the color started to change we're going to flip it over wow nice we're going to apply some olive oil and we're going to apply olive oil on this side look at the fluffiness it's nice and fluffy it's all ready and that is our sugar pranta the kids favorite and mine too wow it's so delicious so tasty prantas as you seen it they are very easy to make and you always can serve with yogurt butter pickle i mean name it you can add so many different things you can uh, serve with it and uh, this is uh, on any occasion you can make it and you can enjoy your prantas if you like this video if this video help you out in any way please like share and subscribe easy steps cooking thank you bye bye